American adults watch an average of five hours and four minutes of television per day. That doesn't include mobile viewing, iPads, computers, or any other electronic devices used. With all that content being consumed, there's sure to be a lot of moments that were aired which probably shouldn't have been. Find out some of these moments here, but before we begin, make sure you click that subscribe button to give this video a big ol' thumbs up. Also, can you guess what feature film these emojis are showing? We'll let you know at the end of the video. Breaking Bad Face Off there's just no denying the insurmountable talent that Breaking Bad's creator Vince Gilligan and his entire production team have. One of the more shocking moments unbelievably aired was, yeah, hold up, let's back up a minute. We forgot the spoiler alert warning, but to be fair, you should have already seen most of these shows, so let's continue with the frightening death of Gus Spring. A bomb explodes inside the senior center and the audience thinks it kills everyone in the room. The show cuts to a wide shot outside the room and Gus casually walks out and stands in the rubble. As the camera moves in and centers on Gus, he's adjusting his tie. It is then revealed half of his face is missing and he falls to the ground. The scene was terrifyingly jaw-dropping for all who watched. For years, the viewers watched as Gus loomed over Walt. The tension was constantly building and we always knew only one of them would survive. Would it be Walt to survive? Or would the writers shock the audience in the finale with his death? We always knew it would be Walt, but we just didn't think they would take Gus out this way. This still stirs up at night before bed. House of Cards, Take the Train. What do you get when David Fincher mixes together one part Kevin Spacey, one part Robin Wright, and is topped off with a seasoned cast? Politics, suspense, backstabbing, murders, lies, eroticism, and an incredibly well-written, put-together show. That's what. House of Cards' fifth season is here, and we want to remind viewers why they need to stay on top of this. From the first minute of the series, viewers were left jaws dropped when the main character Frank Underwood, played by Kevin Spacey, snaps a dog's neck to save it from suffering. This was just the start. A moment we still can't believe was aired is when Frank is talking with an investigative journalist on a train platform. She's pressing him for information and he throws her in front of a barreling train. Frank then darts out of the station and continues on with life as though nothing ever happened. There was certainly a collective gasp heard worldwide when this happened. She was not only a main character, she was a critical one. How could this happen? Rewatching, it still leaves us freaked out and gasping with the writer's direction for her character. This was a strong opening for their second season, letting audiences know nobody was safe when Frank is around. Jimmy Kimmel, I'm f***ing Matt Damon. Most of you out there know who Jimmy Kimmel is. No real need for an explanation. But back in 2003, Kimmel wasn't even a blip on the radar. No one knew who he was. So in 2004, during the third season of his talk show, Kimmel got an idea and ended his shows by saying, apologies to Matt Damon, we ran out of time. But why Matt Damon? Apparently, Kimmel doesn't really know. He said it was completely improvised and the name could have been pretty much anyone. We're guessing a huge influence for Kimmel was the fact that Matt Damon was plastered all over over the media at this time, and are pretty sure it was all for ratings. And girl, did it work. Kimmel blew up. The curiosity factor had everyone wanting to know why he was apologizing. Matt even started making guest appearances and creating gag videos. Then in 2008, something unbelievable was aired. Sarah Silverman created a video confessing to Jimmy on live TV on his talk show that she was cheating on him with Matt. She sang to the world, I'm f***ing Matt Damon. The entire song detailed the how, where, with what, and led to an eventual breakup. Audiences were stunned and most believed these stage videos were real. HBO's Girls Get On All Fours For anyone out there who hasn't heard of HBO's series Girls, they need to get on top of this one immediately. The show, which is on their sixth and final season, is about four 20-something girls living in New York City. They're all trying to figure out life, love, and themselves. But the depth of the show goes far beyond this basic description. In the beginning, the show had been a lightning rod for critical reaction, from allegations of nepotism, privilege, and even racism. Not a week went by without an adverse reaction to Lena Dunham, the show's creator and star. But according to Lena, this was not a terrible thing. It was amazing. She loved triggering responses from people through her art. However, when the ninth episode of the second season aired, there were some seriously hard-to-watch graphic moments. One of these scenes has a very intense sex scene between Adam and his girlfriend. So graphic, we can't go into details. What we can say is Adam gives very specific directions for her and keeps her up all night. Even for HBO standards, this was an unbelievable aired moment. Fans to this day still talk about the moment whenever discussing the show. Scandal, wrist chewing. 
The creator from the acclaimed Grey's Anatomy is also the creative mind behind the ABC drama Scandal. The first episode aired April 5th, 2012 and has been keeping audiences on the edge of their cushions ever since. Scandal is an American political thriller series and is partially based on the former George H.W. Bush administration press aide Judy Smith. The real-life Judy also serves as a co-executive producer and dishes out all the dirty gossip, backstabbing, and scandals with a little drama added, of course. There is one particular scene which has plagued viewers with insomnia since its airing. It has rightfully earned its spot in the top 10 for most graphic scenes ever televised. A handcuffed character chews through her wrist to make it look like she attempted suicide. This isn't an attempt to orchestrate an escape. She didn't just nibble, though. She chewed through everything, even her veins. Audiences cringed, and we're pretty certain more than half had their eyes closed. The scene lasted a very, very, very long time. And according to the creator, the scene was twice as long originally. Fans globally are thankful for the editors for cutting this one in half. Jersey Shore, Snooky Sucker Punch. The show was an immediate success in 2009 when it debuted. The global phenomenon occurred, though, after MTV aired its fourth episode. It is still unbelievable to this day they would air such a moment, but it definitely paid off financially for all involved. Snooky in the cast is at a bar. Brad was being a jerk and taking drinks which didn't belong to him. She runs her mouth at Brad, rightfully so, to get her friend's drinks back, and then pow! Brad punches her square in the jaw and she drops to the floor, and so did the viewer's jaws. The moment was replayed around the world through social media, news stations, and on MTV. It was everywhere, but seeing it over and over and over again did not make it easier to consume. Few have not seen the punch, but even fewer know what happened to Brad after he socked her. He previously worked in Queens, New York as a gym teacher, but after the incident lost his job and struggled to find another one. His father, two years later in 2011, reported his son joined the army because no one would hire him. As for Snooki, she's doing just fine with the success of her show and even has a family now. American Horror Story, all of it. In 2011, the TV show American Horror Story took the world by storm when its first season aired. It continued to grow in popularity with every subsequent season. After the first season, fans and critics knew nothing of what the second season would hold in store. Then the second season happened, and we all discovered we would get a new cast of characters and storylines every season. Each episode and season is intense. No, seriously, if you have not seen any of these, be warned. A lot of these episodes are so intense they should have warning labels at the beginning of each episode. There are Freaky Killer clowns, which if you aren't already, you will be deathly afraid of them. There are men dressed in latex rubber suits head to toe, running around performing unthinkable and unmentionable acts, characters eating humans and their brains. There are too many moments for us to pick just one. If you keep telling yourself you're going to watch this show, just do it. But be warned, it is not for the faint of heart. South Park sh Oh boy, where to begin? The infamous let's see how far we can take it and then go a little bit farther hit series, South Park. This show first hit the airwaves August 13th, 1997 with an episode titled Cartman Gets an Anal Probe. The legendary creators of the show are of course Matt Stone and Trey Parker and they are known for the lengths at which they go to push the limits of the FCC. In South Park's opening episode for its fifth season, a particular word was uttered over 162 times and can be seen written 38 times for a total of 200 times it was said. We aren't quite sure how they got away with this one. There's got to be some sort of excessive use clause in the FCC handbook. The FCC was up in arms, but couldn't really do anything about this. The way in which Trey Stone and Matt Parker used the reference was acceptable. At most, they could receive a fine, but with the series bringing in millions of dollars, it wouldn't affect the production one bit. If you want to know what they were saying, just think of another word for poop. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, yes. We know there were other moments to choose, but some stuff we just can't really talk about. Sopranos Cut to Black For those who have not seen one of television's most revered series, The Sopranos, and you plan on watching it, skip ahead. Or on second thought, don't. We'd rather save you the agony of wasting away three full days and 14 hours of your life. That's the amount of time to sit through every single episode, to only feel truly disappointed. The final scene of the series has Tony, his wife, and son sitting in a diner enjoying a meal. The audience is waiting for the epic moment of all moments in the series. Everything has led up to what is about to happen. Will Tony be clipped? Does he go to prison? And then the diner door opens, Tony looks up, and then cuts to black. And the credits roll. For those who actually watch this series year to year from the start, you deserve something epic for your trials and tribulations. It's unbelievable that a TV show with the world's most devoted fan base of the time would air such an unbelievable moment. And they did it on the last frame of the series before the end credits. No answers, no cool shootout, just a catchy song and the names of the creators scrolling on screen. Fans and critics went ballistic when this version of the ending aired. 
Game of Thrones. Shame, shame, shame. Unlike South Park, Game of Thrones is not an animated show. These are real people playing the role so the viewer identifies on a deeper level with them. So when a character has their head caved in or is being ravished by heathens or worse, slaughtering entire families at their wedding, it hits home. With so many insane WTF moments, this next one is the most unbelievable moment aired. It's not that they shouldn't have aired it, it's just that you can't believe this moment is actually happening. If you hadn't gathered from the title of this section, we're talking about the walk of shame Cersei Lannister is forced to endure. Those who follow Game of Thrones despise Cersei, but we love to despise her. She's a female in a truly male-dominated world and does anything she can to survive and keep her family alive. So when after five seasons the audience finally witnesses her being punished, it was pure satisfaction. But we never imagined it to be so cruel. As she walked naked through the town, she was stoned and called vile names. You feel sorry, but quickly remember everything she's done and it quenches your lust for sweet revenge. When season 7 finally airs this year, we will be craving more unbelievable moments just like this one. Which of these moments couldn't you believe were aired? Any we should have talked about? Shame us with your comments below and don't forget to subscribe and share this video or you might just be shamed yourself. Oh yeah, and of course, here is the answer to the emoji from the beginning. Did you get it right? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for new releases every day and check out our playlist.